These spreadsheets are going to help us calculate the price elasticity of demand. We have three ways we can go about accomplishing this. First is using linear data, which is data that's in a straight line. And we're going to solve this by plotting high points and low points and solving for the slope of the line. So we graph our high point and our low point, 40, and 1, and 10, 14. And we, this is what our graph is. We arrive at our slope by uh, the calculations of P2 divided minus P2 minus P1 and divide that by Q2 minus Q1. Here's our slope. We take the inverse of that, which is 1 divided by the slope. From now, we need to enter data points to calculate our PED. This point here is very close to uh, 20 and 12. So we're going to work with 20 and 12, and that calculate, calculates our PED, which is negative 0.1709. Next, we're going to stay with our linear data. We're going to use the same data, this one, except we use a different formula to solve for it instead of the slope of the line. This is called the symmetric midpoint formula. Basically, we take the two points, Q2, take Q2 minus Q1, and then we divide that by Q2 plus Q1, uh, divided by 2. So basically what we're doing is we're taking the difference of the quantity divided by the average quantity and the difference of the price divided by the average price and we arrive at our PED. If you notice it is a little little off here but this isn't totally exact. We could be a little higher or low but we're pretty close. This is uh, 1709 and this is 1752 so we're only off by um, very little. A few, a, th a few thousands. Our last way is similar to what we just did with the symmetric midpoint formula, but we're going to do that for each data point. So we, I put together a chart here, and basically it does the symmetric midpoint formulas all the way through. Here are our, 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 our data, our calculations. is delta Q, Q average, and this is um, Q difference divided by Q average, P difference, P average, then uh, P difference divided by P average. Then, then this sums that up. And here we have P, which is P difference divided by P average. And our symmetric midpoint would then be, we take these points, basically Q, and Q percentage divided by P percentage, and then that's how we get our symmetric midpoint. And that would be our PED.